is Margie from Reclaim by Ramsey, and if this is your first time here, welcome. I think you're going to love the project that I have in store for you guys today. And if you are a returning subscriber, then thank you so much. You know I appreciate it so much when you guys um, comment and share and like and do all the social media stuff. So make sure you do that. Make sure you, you know, give me the thumbs up, do the clicking and the liking, all that kind of stuff. Today we are going to be working on uh, a project. It was an empire style dresser that was actually in my kitchen for years. And we are going to be using milk paint. And I know milk paint is scary to some of you, but I'm going to take all the guesswork out of it. Well, as much as you can. Milk paint has a mind of its own, so um, using milk paint is just... Um, you have to like a little bit of adventure. So that's what we're going to be going to do today is we're going to be revamping an old dresser, an antique dresser, and making it look even more antique. So if that sounds good to you, stick around for the video. Okay, when you're mixing milk paint, which milk paint, true milk paint, comes in a powdered form. And I'm using Miss Mustard Seed in Mustard Seed Yellow. And this is one of my favorite uh, colors uh, by Miss Mustard Seed Paint. And you mix equal parts paint to water. And I like to use a little bit of warm water. And you can use an emulsion blender. I can't find mine. So I'm just going to use a whisk. And then if you don't want it to chip as much or you want to control the chippiness, you're going to want to add a product called Extra Bond. And it, I get it from different companies. This is Sweet Pickens. Uh, they also carry milk paint. And this is Miss Mustard Seed. And the more of the bond that you put in, the, more, the less chippy it will be. So... I am just going to guesstimate here because I don't know where my measuring spoons are. And you just want to mix up a little bit of paint at a time because you don't, um, it doesn't keep well. So, you know, I'm going to estimate that it's about a half a container. And you probably should be precise. Um, that's not my world. I don't live in precise world, so uh, forgive me. <laughs> and then I'm just going to add water here and you want to let it sit um, and like incorporate well so I'm gonna mix this up and then do my sanding because I'm gonna sand the top of the piece and you're gonna want to mix it really 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 well and I probably added too much water a little bit more paint and I want a pretty chippy look so I am not going to add as much bond because I want it to chip. Um, the great thing about milk paint is that, for me anyway, is that it's completely unpredictable. You never quite know what you're going to get with it. Um, so I don't do a lot of custom pieces with it because I'm always worried. Um, but so I'm going to add some bond. I'll finish up this one. And then I'll just let it sit for a while. Um, I'll mix that up really well. And then I'll get back to sanding. love a flat bristled brush and this one is called the Dusty by Sweet Pickens or no I'm sorry by Paint Pixie and I will link to that um, I get mine from Jamie Ray Vintage um, and I will link to that in the description box below but it is great for flat surfaces like this and I'm just gonna go over everything get everything with a nice even first coat and then I will let that dry really, really well. But I like to just pull the paint straight down the piece. I don't go like over it, over and over it um, too many times. Just uh, get it on the piece and just bring it straight down, follow the grain of the wood, and you're good to go.
So here's what it's looking like with one coat. And I know that looks super scary. I know that looks like, wow, that is really not that great of coverage. She's got some runs, she's got some drips. But I promise you, once we sand it, once we get the second coat on, and once we sand it, uh, it's gonna be so pretty. Now, it is not being very chippy. And that's the thing with milk paint. You just never can tell what's gonna happen with it. So, I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll come back and we'll put a second coat on it and we'll see where we're at. Now, you always wanna make sure that you're stirring your paint as you go because the, the nature of this is that it will, um, form at the bottom. All of the particles will go to the bottom. So you want to mix it up as you're painting. So now that it's all painted, I'm going to get to sanding and I'm just going to use a 220 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to go over all the edges and all the places that I think there would be natural wear. Different woods react differently and so I don't know if the top of this mirror was a different type of wood but it was chippier than the rest of it. Okay guys, here is a picture of it after I have distressed it, but I haven't yet put any kind of top coat on it, and I haven't done the top yet. And I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to put the mirrored back piece on it, or if I'll just sell that separately. I also have to get a different knobs. Um, I have to touch up these knobs and two of them don't match so I'm going to try to scarf some off of a different piece of furniture that I have. So um, I'm going to show you next what it looks like when I put the dark oil wax over the uh, mustard. I think it's going to look really pretty. Okay guys and this is a little bit of homemade stain and this is just... Um, some Waverly dark wax mixed with water and some butcher block oil and that keeps it from uh, being too dry and really conditions the wood and as you can see this is just just looking beautiful and I don't care that there is still some black in here that I didn't get sanded because I want this to look like it has been around for you know, the hundred and some years that it, that it has been. This is, uh, I think, late 1800s. So the fact that we can give this some new life, um, I'm really cool with that. So I don't mind these dark areas. It just looks like, 
you know, it has had a well-loved and well-worn life. So once I get this finished, I will bring you back and show you what the whole thing looks like. Okay, this is the dark oil wax from Sweet Pickens, and I use it a lot with milk paint because if you see this area here, it is it looks almost like a grayish color, and I want to bring back that wood looking color, and that's what uh, dark oil wax will do. And I'm sure you could use regular dark wax, but I just like this better. I think it's really pretty. So let me try to show you here. And I just use a brush. And just paint it on. You don't have to be precise or anything. And then I just wipe it back. And you see that see that nice dark richness now that you get compared to you know over here where you have the light you get it brings back that natural beauty of the wood and so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the whole piece like this I'll just show you a little bit more literally it's if I mean it can't get more simple than this you just rub it on brush it on whatever Can you see that, guys? I don't know how good the lighting is in here, but look how pretty that looks. Oh, the whole piece is gonna look beautiful when it's done. All right, I will bring you back when I am finished with this. And here she is, all done up in all her beauty. Oh, guys, I am loving the way she turned out. what did you think? Did we hit it out of the park? Did you learn anything new? Hey, if you wouldn't mind, leave something in the comments. Just, you know, leave a comment of if you learned something, if you're going to try milk paint. Like I said, this is Miss, Mus Miss, ah! Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint, but you can get milk paint uh, just get the real stuff. Don't get the stuff in a can that's wet because that's not really milk paint. They're saying it is, but it's not. Um, but you, I have used uh, Junk Monkey, Sweet Pickens, Miss Mustard Seed. Um, there are farmhouse finishes. There are a lot of great um, milk paints out there. And like I said in the beginning, the more bond that you put in, so make sure that you buy bond. When you buy your milk paint, buy your extra bond. When you, um, when you do that, make sure that, you know, the amount of bond that you put in, if you follow the directions, it won't chip as much. I like it chippy, what can I say? Anyway, let me know how you liked it and stick around. I'm gonna be trying to do at least one video a week. I do mostly farmhouse uh, painting, but as you can see behind me, I also get some cool stuff in too, and I sell here uh, right outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So again, this is Margie from Reclaimed by Ramsey. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.